you know, what, what are you going to do when you come across those times when you come to a crisis or you come to the crossroads in your life? What are you going to do? How are you going to handle it? What are you going to do to make yourself come out as, as victorious? You know what I'm saying? On top of it. What is... What are, what are you going to do well, with the consciousness and the african centeredness and being woke and all of the studying that you have done? How are you going to put it into action and execute for yourself no matter what, what situation that you come upon? And that's the question. Because we got a lot of family that's going through a lot of things in different places and different times and spaces. And we have to make sure that we are able to dissect situations and, and, and work it out and why why are we in this situation you know what I'm saying why is this happening to me a lot of us want why me why does why is this happening to me you know a lot of us have to be shaken up out of our comfort zone and be told hey 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 no you ain't gonna get to plan to plan to plan to plan to plan and to plan just to plan to plan I used to do that in the work. And what are you going to do right now? You know what I'm saying? How are you going to navigate this situation? You, you When you hit with something hard like we was, we, we admit, and, 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 I mean, something hit us real hard, but hey, we took it, we stood on it, we stood strong, we stood, put our fists up, we put resistance, we got our to 10 toes down, you know what I'm saying? We <clears throat> ready in fight position, ready, and then we just vamped, disappeared, just like a superhero, just invisible, just remove yourself from the situation, bag up off of it, and, and, and get somewhere in solitude and solace and relax yourself and become peaceful and humble and serene and think about it and dissect that situation. Just tear it all the way down. Get to the bottom, the first piece of it. How did I get to this situation? Break it all the way down. That's what we did. How do you deal with the crisis? How do you deal with it? How do you deal with it and make it, you know what I'm saying, where you can come become victorious out of it? How, how do you how are you gonna make this a win-win situation? You know what I'm saying? Cause it's a lot of us, we on our way, we trying to get to Africa, we gotta do this, but we feel like we gotta plan some more, we gotta plan the plan, and we gotta make some more money, and we gotta da, da, da. And that happen in a lot of situations that keep you from moving, so you be forced out of situations and, and stagnate you, that's right. And who's to say, when the right time is, we be thinking we gonna keep it, uh, keep the force going, and we gonna come to the right time in the most positive situations. That's why you gotta look at what are your pros and cons. What do you have going for yourself that can really work for you, <clears throat> that can really benefit you right now at this time, where you can go ahead and put your best foot forward. <clears throat> what is it that you have working for you that can? that can make you say, hey, I got this. Because when you bag up off of it, any situation you bag up off of, don't let nobody force you into no decision. Bag up off of it, disappear a few days, take your, take your mind off of it, and then when you think about it, you break it down, break down this situation, see how can I become victorious from this whole crisis? And I tell you, I guarantee you, there will be smiles at the end. There will be a, a sense of humility. There will be a sense of peace. There will be a sense of, okay, change is good. Change is okay. Change is something that we all deserve that we should see. We should be doing regularly, okay? They taught us to get a good job, stay on the job, work to the bone, retire, collect social security, collect retirement, and then who gonna be here to spend it? Cause you done de just destroyed your life working these jobs that give you a low life expectancy that don't really care about your life at all. No matter how much they pretend, no matter what position you in, you are never in the right position 
if you're not on your own thing, okay? If you're not at your own establishment, if you didn't create this out of your brain, created for yourself, where nobody is leeching off of you and taking from you, you are in a bad situation. This is about crisis solution. How do you create a solution for yourself in spite of everything that you that you are faced with? What are the pluses? What are your pros? Okay? How can you make this situation work for yourself where you can get up out of it, you can go, you can be happy, and you will have a testimony, another story to tell, whereas, you know what I'm saying, it'll be something you can smile about. And that's what, that's what you want to ultimately do at the end. You want to create a, a, such a big change where you wasn't ready for it, but when it came, you got on it and you made it work out and you became victorious. You won at the end. Because a lot of times people can make you be trying to make you fight little small battles and they'll look. Fight them. That's what they want you to do a lot of times. They put you in a position where you want to do something to somebody. Right. And instead of you doing that, you win the war. Them battles, you Ooh. can you got to, you got to play stick and move like Muhammad Ali. You want to stick and move, all right? <laughs> you got to play stick and move. And that's where your wife come in and when it comes to your husband, calm your husband down, make him relax. You know what I'm saying? Cause our health and strength is more important than some jack leg. You know what I'm saying? Some some people that that just do not deserve. To, to put you in a position where your whole everything is at stake. Nobody's ever worth that. And when people push you in that direction, you need to remove yourself. Removing yourself is not a bad thing. It's not something that, you know what I'm saying, that anybody can look upon. Save yourself out of any situation. Save yourself. Get out of it. Make a move, make it happen for you and your family, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and look forward to generational wealth and happiness and peace. So that's what it's all about. I hope y'all gain something from this information, uh, gain something from our situation that we going through. But look at me, look at, look at us, no matter what, you got to strut. <laughs> no matter what, you got to make the best out of it. You got to know that no matter what the situation is, we are gods and goddesses. We can come out of it. We can get out of it. We can save ourselves. We can save our family. We can save our people. And we can be that light at the end of the tunnel continuously by being a prime example. Situations happen in your life experiences happen so that you can be a greater person a better person no situations make it where you can have something to stand on it's like you constantly going to your throne okay the throne is there you taking your steps to get to the top of it you gonna when you get there you gonna stand strong and that's constantly in every adversity every situation you take the necessary steps to stand at the top of your throne. All right? Thank y'all for watching. We love y'all. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to everybody that's a part of our Live My Best Life in Ghana family. We love y'all. We love you so much. We appreciate y'all. And you'll see us soon. Peace. Peace. Y'all ja -ja see Peace. All right, peace.